two or three. Okay, here I am at the convention center. I don't know if it's a white elephant or what. Anyway, never mind that. So, what's your name? Brad Woodside. Brad Woodside, the mayor of Fredericton. Okay, so uh, we had a flood here, not not the 08 style, but uh, what's the what's the latest on the flood situation, the damage in this in the city of Fredericton? We haven't uh, really got our assessment done on uh, what the damage may be, particularly to our trail system, Charles. But uh, it's been uh, a terrible, terrible situation for New Brunswickers, particularly in the St. Stephen, St. George uh, area, uh, with all the roads that are washed out, houses uh, have been destroyed. Uh, you know, that's uh, a terrible thing to happen uh, during what should be a very happy time of the year. So I think the uh, provincial government's got a, you know, a lot of work ahead of them trying to get people's lives back together. They've responded quite quickly in terms of you know, uh, funding that is available, uh, but uh, you know, it just makes your heart ache when uh, when this sort of thing happens, uh, particularly during the Christmas period. Yeah, I'm going to be in St. George uh, Christmas Day. I'll, I'll be taking a lot, of, a lot of pictures there. But what's going to happen with the trails here now? They can't clean. I'm sure you've seen the pictures on 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 my blog. I well, put that, it all there. you know, that creates another problem. I mean, this has happened uh, not in the spring when the water recedes and then you start cleaning up. Yeah. I mean, this is happening in the winter where we're getting into a freeze, getting into a cold weather. Uh, so, uh, you know, I wouldn't expect to have everything new, uh, done that uh, that uh, should have been done in in a big hurry. It's impossible. Uh, it's impossible. Roads are a little bit different because uh, people need the roads to yeah. get to and from. But uh, the trails, uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll do them when when we can get to them and get them done. Let's have a project. Let's see if you uh, if you're a psychic, if you could see see the future. It's going to be one hell of a mess in the spring. And the water's going to come back. You know, nobody can predict what Mother Nature is going to do or capable of doing. But you're the man. Is, I still can't deal Ooh. with I can't contend with Mother Nature. I mean, I have a hard job keeping up to you, Charles. Uh, you know, all we do is wish for the best. Um, obviously, uh, climate change is here. Uh, some people deny it, but there's uh, strange weather uh, events happening that people have never experienced before. Uh, the best we could possibly do is get ready for it. And they're off. By the way, yeah, they're off again. And uh, speaking of off, uh, congratulations. Uh, you're not going to have eggs uh, thrown at you. Uh, the property tax went down. Property tax went down a bit. Uh, you know, it's uh, probably not a whole lot to, to make a huge impact, but I think it delivers a very uh, strong message. Uh, you know, that's uh, money that was cut, uh, money that we have cut from the budget. Uh, so it's not like some people thought we had all kinds of money. We went through a pretty uh, a difficult exercise. So I'm very, uh, very proud of the council for doing that, and I think the people of Fredericton deserve nothing less. One last point. Yeah. This white elephant here. Yeah. <laughs> You still say this is going to bring in some money? Joy on Noel. <laughs> Merry Christmas to my friend Charles. <laughs> Joy on Noel to, right. to you also. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.